now your hosts, Scott Hammer and Ron Miller. Swinging. Welcome, race fans, to the Hammer Down Racer Report. That spring was swinging in front of the camera, Scott. Oh, well. Welcome to the Hammer Down Racer Report for Thursday, the uh, 20th of uh, July. Show number it 290, is. Scott Hammer, Ron Miller, and another uh, our, our Australian interpreter with us. That's right. Just, yeah. ju- just in case Kai is hard to understand. He's got, not. I, I know. Yeah. He's, he's spent but I don't time. speak Australian, so. Oh, well. You'll be in for a lesson then. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Kai Blight will be our guest tonight. Uh, we're coming at you live on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, uh, from the John Young Racing, Racing for First Responders, Dave Kemmer Studio. Uh, in addition to that, uh, we're going to be giving away some Big D's pizza and, uh, mm. I believe, all right, this one's paid for, this one's last week's for Dean. And we got two to give away. Ooh, baby. Oh, actually, one ha- Hammer Down Racing I, Report stickers. I got to pay for one of those. Yeah. Hammer Down Racing Report stickers. We have some to give away if uh, you want to get in on that. Look at that. I actually was prepared this time. Ooh. Go ahead and type hashtag DCR in the uh, comments. Yeah, if you're one of the slackers that doesn't have one yet. You can win one tonight. That's right. And we've had our first submission that's uh, been added to our Hammer Down Racing Report fleet. Uh, if you do have a sticker on your race car, if you're a driver, send us a picture of it, and uh, we'll, we'll report on you each and every week. Now, do they have to be a driver? Could we have a, a, a fan? Well, if it's on the car, we'll report on whoever drives that car. How's okay. That? So if you're it's not, a not, a, s- not a race car, it could be their, their street car. Is that what you're saying? No. Okay. How are we going to report on the street car? Oh, you finished first at the red light. We saw you. <laughs> I mean, you can. I mean, but yeah. uh, I, I don't know how that would work. Maybe we could put a spotter out on the road. Yeah. Speaking of Kai Blight, Australian uh, late model racer, just finished up the uh, tour with the the, the, the Hell summer, Tour, the Summer Nationals. Summer I think he Nationals. missed one show. The results said it was 22 of 23. Yeah, and I think you were allowed one or two. Oh, that's true. Uh, but uh, we have high, hit our highest numbers in Australia. Really? Recently, yeah, we peaked at number 87, our first time under 100. Ooh, baby. Yeah, in Australia on uh, iTunes, or Apple Podcasts, I guess it is now. And we also charted in Canada for the first time. Really? Number 130 in Canada. All right. Hey? Eh? <laughs> don't you know? What's that all about? I speak Canadian. I just ah, don't speak f- Australian. Fluent. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, we appreciate that. Thanks uh, for keeping up those numbers. Of course, you can always listen to us uh, live on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, but you can uh, also check us out on those podcasts. If I can just warn me next time, I'll mute your microphone. <laughs> well, I didn't know it was going to make those kind of noises. <laughs> you got springs on it. What do you think it's going to do? You're an engineer, aren't you? Well, it doesn't make that kind of noises normally. Oh. But yeah, okay. Uh, we're, we're good. Yeah. I don't know about that, but uh, we'll go with that. We're better than average. Sure. Uh, make sure to contact Oakshade Raceway. Where the, or make sure to contact them. Uh, check out Oakshade Raceway. We're the fastest meet to race uh, every Saturday night. Follow them on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, or TikTok. Have you checked out their TikTok? I haven't. Yeah, I don't have TikTok either. I'm sorry. That's why I don't. Yeah. That's why I haven't checked it. Uh, this weekend at Oakshade is the Oakshade Attica Late Model Challenge Series. And uh, coming up next weekend, Snyder Wheels. Giving away a bunch of bikes. Wow, is it that time already? Yeah, last Saturday in uh, this month, July. July. So what is it, 20, 29th, I believe, that's uh, the Night of Wheels. So check that out. Uh, check out the full schedule at oakshaderaceway.com. Results, points, everything is there. Big D's Pizza and Clyde, give them a call at 419-547-1444. You can order online at orderbigdspizza.com. You can order now, and you probably get your pizza by the time we're done. There's uh, a lot of racing going on tonight. The uh, World of Outlaws uh, were rained out last night. They're going to be on tonight, as well as it's, uh, what's it called on ESPN? Thursday Night Thunder. Yeah. With the SRX series. Going to be back at the same track this week. We'll talk really? about that uh, a little bit later. Two weeks well. in a row? At Stafford, yeah. Ooh. Uh, big D's and Clyde, big on taste, not on price. And DCR Graphics, they do full wraps. They specialize in banner stickers, uh, window stickers, our official uh, sticker distributor here. Anything you need if you, for your car, your race car, your home car, you want a die cast, uh, just like the one sitting up there, you can uh, check that out as well from him. Uh, give 
Uh, Dale Cole Jr., a call, 419-308-9523. You can check him out on Facebook at facebook.com slash Graphics. And uh, like I said, show us your Hammer Down uh, Racing Report stickers on your race car, and uh, we'll include you in our results each and every week. Part of the Hammer Down fleet. That's pretty amazing. Yeah. Also, thanks to uh, Freeze Frame Photos, Oakshade Raceway, Dominator Race Parks, Ron Miller Race Cars, and Headhunters Barber Studio and Salon in Perrysburg. Uh, before we get to Mr. Cla- Kai Blight, we are going to uh, take care of some stuff from this past weekend. How about that? Yes? Good? I'm, I'm good with it. Racing Roundup. All right. Lima Land, uh, Friday night, Jared Clay picked up the win in Thunderstock uh, feature. Dylan Nussbaum in the Modifieds. Luke Griffith, uh, victorious in the NRA Sprints. A six, second feature wins of the season for all three of those drivers at Lima Land. Six. That, that's pretty impressive. Well, six among those three. Oh. I thought you meant six for each of them. No, second. Second oh, for each. Oh, second six, six. feature win for each oh, of them. Okay. All right. Now, now I got it. Go Oak Shade Raceway, Saturday night, the birthday race. Um, I can't believe we actually got that in. Scott, the, I It would, rained I, until like 2.30. I was stunned, yeah. Uh, Eight, 18 but, straight hours of rain. Uh, and the track showed for it. It wasn't wasn't quite as bad as last year, but uh, it was had a lot of character, as everyone expected. Nobody really complained about it because it kind of – Figured after all that rain. I came home, my rain gauge has said inch and a half. Wow. Since I left on uh, Saturday now, morning. Now, I understand early on that uh, a one race team left, uh, a, a late model. and uh, Who was it? Was it Troutman? I think maybe. Okay. But, but they had been upside down two other times during the summer nationals, and they felt it best not to... Uh, push their luck for a three-peat. Fair enough. And there were a few that got upside down. They were. I don't know. I don't know that that was uh, due to the track roughness, though. I think it was... Driver roughness. That, and it was a fast, fast track. It was. Very tacky. Uh, but Ashton Winger picking up his second birthday race win there at Oakshade on Saturday night. Dalton Lane picking up uh, his first summer national modified win. Jarrett Rundell won the Dominator Superstock A main. And Shane Stuckey won the Dominator Superstock B main. Had some uh, rain outs as well. Flat Rock uh, threw in the towel. Sandusky Speedway as well. Waynesfield uh, Raceway Park also all rained out on Saturday. Fremont was off. So was Attica due to uh, the Kings Royal. Right. Uh, Butler Motor Speedway, uh, they got things uh, in on uh, last Thursday, Summer Nationals uh, event they there. Did. Ryan Unzicker picking up the uh, win in that, and I don't have written down who won the modified feature. I don't remember who it was. don't remember. No. Uh, but but I'll bet somebody will tell us. I bet you Dave will tell us, yes. Saturday night, uh, so they had two, two nights of uh, racing this weekend, Thursday and then uh, Saturday regular show, Darren Nida. Picking up the win in the four tens. I think that was his first four ten win. Was it really? I believe. Hmm. We had him on the show about a year ago. It may have been a little sooner than yeah, that, but know. yeah, it was a while. Check that out if uh, you're a Darren Knight a fan. Uh, Dylan Newsbaum won in the modified, so a couple wins for him this weekend. One at Lime Milan, one at Butler. Cody Connor, street stock winner, and Austin Sloan picking up the win in the four cylinders. Eldora. Uh, big weekend there for sprint cars, uh, the Eldora Million. Thursday night, Logan Schuhart picking up uh, that million dollars. Now, Stole were, it. <laughs> were you, you were at that race, weren't you, Des? I certainly was, yeah. For the first time in about four years, I've been able to, to visit Eldora, um, mainly due to the influence of uh, the COVID and the fact we weren't allowed to leave Australia during that period of time and... Uh, and so it was good to actually go back there and see what they've done and the, the the progression in the development of the track is certainly outstanding with their um, their massive telecommunications tower they've built adjacent to the main road. That really opens up all the opportunities for streaming of the sport, which is so valuable to not just the sport but to income generation to sustain the sport. Scott, did you see uh, Logan Suchart's... Uh, uh, <laughs> Easy for you to say. His uh, post-race interview? I did not. Oh, boy. That that was almost a tearjerker. He, he, was, really? he was in tears thanking everybody. And uh, 
it, it was it was worth a watch. I can remember when he first came to race in the World of Outlaws, and he was he was uh, he looked like uh, an amateur team really turning up, yeah. and then he actually did very well early in his career. So he he's, they certainly know their stuff, and they turned on a brilliant exhibition to win that race. Well, he's a million dollars richer now. Yeah. Carson Macedo uh, won the uh, World of Outlaw night before on Friday night at Eldora. Saturday night, Donnie Schatz uh, picking up the Kings Royal yeah. win. Yep. Were you there for the whole weekend then? Yep. Okay. Some sprint car action. What did Shotzi win? How much? Was that 100? 175. 175, yeah. So a couple of racers had pretty profitable weekends. Yep. Lucas, Lucas Oil uh, Late Model Dirt Series uh, this past week in Tri-City uh, Speedway on Friday was rained out. Saturday at Lucas Oil Speedway, Jonathan Davenport uh, picking up the win in the Diamond Nationals. Tezos All-Star Circuit of Champions Tuesday at Lernerville this week. Kyle Larson picking up 25000 to win. World of Outlaw Case Construction Late Models uh, Friday at Ponderosa was uh, Mike Marler picking up the win, the Johnny Mulligan Classic. Saturday, Brownstown Speedway postponed due to weather. They're working on a uh, new date for that. SRX Series last Thursday night was uh, won by Denny Hamlin in a rain-shortened event at Stafford Speedway. And uh, Arkham Menard Series action, Luke Fenhouse picking up the win in the Calypso 100 at Iowa Speedway. Christian Lungard, first-time winner in NTT IndyCar Series action, the Honda Indy of uh, Toronto on Sunday, picked up the win there. NASCAR action, John Hunter Nemechek picking up the Xfinity win, the Ambetter Health 200 in New Hampshire, and then uh, Cup Series, which was postponed to Monday. Martin Truex winning the Cran 301 at New Hampshire Motor Speedway. Other notes, uh, Summer Nationals Friday night rained out at uh, Hartford. Oh, my gosh. Whew. I think my dog has gas. <laughs> oh, Scott. Well, wow. it wasn't me. I can almost <laughs> taste that. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, anyway. <laughs> Hard to believe that. That was a little a little distracting there. Uh, Hartford uh, rained out at uh, uh, on Friday night uh, for the Summer Nationals. Wayne County Speedway wrapping things up. Kyle Moore picking up the win there. Ashton Winger was uh, crowned the uh, Hell Tour champion, the overall champion. So congratulations to him. We were going to have uh, him on this week, but uh, he's racing at Sonoya tonight. So a little busy. And uh, our hammer down fleet, uh, first uh, entry into that, Kurt Dickey finished 19th Saturday at Oche. And and a good time was had by all. Well, by some whose cars stayed together, I suppose. Make sure to call Dominator Race Products uh, for all your uh well, for most of your racing needs, especially for body parts, uh, they have the classic-looking Killer Z nose, Dominator uh, Outlaw nose kit for asphalt super late models. They have shaker screens. I think I heard a few of those got busted at uh, Oak Chain. Yeah. So uh, here's an opportunity to call Dominator. Fan shrouds, modified valances, plastic late model spoilers. Uh, you can order them direct at DominatorRaceProducts.com or from your local reputable race shop, uh, such as Ron Miller Race Cars. And you can call Dominator direct 419-923. Six nine seven zero. How about we get uh, Kai Blight on the phone? Yeah, and I got Jerry Keezer working on details. They have a special thing coming up uh, tomorrow night at Limeland. Ah! Yeah, I was, apologize about that. that was my <laughs> work email. Um, that's what happens when I try and bring things up here. But yeah, Jerry, uh, they have uh, Matt Crafton's going to be in that. Uh, yeah, Pastrana. There was a couple other guys. We'll talk about that here in a little bit. As uh, well, but first we're gonna ring up Kai Blight. And he's been running in the the states uh, for the past few years. Yeah, he has. How did he get here during COVID? I wonder. Uh, he, I. Hello, it's Kai. Uh, hi, Kai. It's uh, Scott Hammer, Des, Ron. It's a Hammer Down Racing Report. How's it going? What's going on, guys? Hey, we we brought an Aussie along to wait, interpret wait, for you. <laughs> Yes, we, we don't speak. Like it. We don't speak Australian, so we brought our interpreter you, with us. You know, yeah, I like it. That's fair enough. <laughs> you you know Des Ferris? Absolutely, I do. Yeah, here we go. Say hi, Des. Hi there, Kai. Good to see How you. We well, well done on your driving, man. Thank you, sir. You've done well. Uh, congratulations, uh, top five run uh, on the Summer Nationals this year. Um, how how much did you enjoy running that tour, or or not enjoy running it this year? Ah, uh, no, it was awesome. I when when we were at Wayne County for that last night, both Joe and I said, you know, I wish we kind of got the first two weeks over again. We we learned a lot, we improved a lot, and um, yeah, if we could go back and maybe have those first two weeks again, who knows? But uh, yeah, no, we enjoyed it, mate. 
Do you think that's going to carry over when you uh, head back home? Um, so right now, our, our goal is to, to be over here full-time. So the goal is to be racing here full-time uh, and improve enough where we can compete on a national level. So uh, I'm sure it'll definitely help when we go back home, but uh, we're about improving so we can keep up with these uh, with these guys on a national tour. You, you plan on uh, heading home during our winter then? Yes, sir. Yep, yep. We we our busiest season is usually December, January, February. So, prior to you guys kind of getting cranked up, that's uh, that's when we're racing for the most money back home. How how frustrating was it to be uh, uh, pretty competitive uh, in this year's Hell Tour and not make it to, to victory lane? It was very, very frustrating. <laughs> so early on in the trip, like if we won a heat race early on in the trip, we're ecstatic. But then towards the end of the trip, if we didn't win a heat race. It was frustrating, you know. So our expectations changed along the way. The the, the better we got. So um, we were close a couple of times. I made a, I made some mistakes a few times, and we let them slip. But um, you know, hopefully we get in that position again, and you know we get a we get a win on this Mars series. We're going to follow for the rest of the year. So are you going to let uh, let the boss man have a skid before you go back home? That's a plan. We actually tested at Skingham County um, in Ohio uh, yesterday. And Joe had a skid and the boss had a skid as well. So it's good to get those guys behind the wheel and turn some laps and also get some, you know, feedback on the car because some things that I think that I feel that maybe the driver just, um, you know, maybe I, I do some things that create problems with the car. Um, so those guys jumped in and gave me their feedback and we kind of worked on the car a little bit and we got a lot better too. So it's always good to have a lot more feedback. Des, can you uh, interpret the word skid for uh, those in our audience <laughs> that may not uh, have caught on? Yeah, well, skid is racing. Okay, okay. So it's a bit like dumping. Yeah, they're going to have a race. Okay, I like <laughs> it. I like the lingo. So you're going to run a, the? Uh, you plan to run the Hell Tour again next year? Honestly, we haven't thought that far ahead. Right now, our focus is to finish off this Mars series. Um, we're going to go to the Prairie Dirt Classic at Fairbury. Uh, we're also going to do. I think it's the USA Nationals. I think we might do, um, and then go to Eldora and try and. Um, Try and get in the race for that World 100. So. Oh, that's awesome! Yeah, well, oh man, we love Eldora. That's that's kind of where our, our whole trip is kind of based on Eldora. We used to start out at the Dream, and then we just fill in the weeks until we got back to the World. So um, the Summer Nationals have kind of filled it in nicely. We've got a lot of laps in, and yeah, this time hopefully when we go back to the World, we've got enough laps and understand our car enough where we can be competitive. So when you're home, uh, the Motorplex at Quinana is is your yep. home base. What track? What, what track around here uh, kind of equates to that? Just so our, our listeners know what you're dealing with back home. Well, the, the tracks over here are a lot. Um, for what we were doing on Summer Nationals, anyway, it was a lot smaller. Um, the Motorplex has black dirt, but usually it starts out really slimy. Um, everything back home they uh, they tend to overwater, keep keep really hooked up. Um, and we don't see that a lot over here, right? They tend to let it slick off and build a top and a bottom. So um, I've heard people um, compare it to Magnolia, Mississippi. I haven't been there yet, so I'm not really sure. But, um, yeah, I hear that Magnolia is uh, probably the closest. Now, what do, you, what do you prefer? Do you prefer the, the heavy or slimy track as opposed to a slicked off track? No, so I think the slick stuff definitely provides better racing. Um, obviously, we've grown up on, you know, tracks that are hammered down and you get on the gas and, um, so that, that's created some problems for me as well because um, you've had to hone a skill set back home to be competitive or stand on the gas and, and um, keep car speed up. Well, well, over here, once it slows right down, you've got to kind of park and make sure you're in the moisture all the time. So there's, there's some things that I definitely have to work on, um, some bad habits that I have from back home, but um, we're up to it, mate. We, uh, I should have warned you early on that uh, we, we've really highly promoted you uh, to our WA listeners, so awesome. be, ca- be, be careful what you say. <laughs> no, I think it's common knowledge that everything back home is uh, very, very wet compared to what it is over here. And and I think that's a deal where uh, the, the promoters back home just don't like the crowd getting dusted out. They don't, they want a, you know an experience for them where they go home and they're not covered in dirt. So there's definitely a, a reason behind, um, you know, keeping them wetter and stuff like that. But mainly it's it's the banking. Um, a lot of the tracks back home are, are flat, and once they get dried out, they get one lane. So you kind of got to keep them hooked up where they're racy. So there's just um, there's tendencies back home which we don't have over here, and um, yeah, each have their strengths and weaknesses. That's for sure. 
Now, are the tracks in Australia, or you said uh, the tracks here are smaller. What is what's the average size of the tracks uh, you're running well, in Australia? The motorplex, we run a gear like a, a five seventy five gear. Well, say when we go to uh, Fairbury, we'll have like a six forty four in. Uh, when we go to so in comparison to Eldora, I'll run like a a five forty five. So that's that's pretty similar to motorplex size, right? Don't give away all your secrets there, Kai. There are, are spies listening. <laughs> uh, I didn't say that was the truth, did I? <laughs> it's false yeah, I, I would. I would think size-wise, uh, to our listeners here in in, in the Ohio area, uh, Quinana is uh, maybe a, a little bit bigger than than Finley would have been. Millstream. Millstream. Yeah. Okay. Right. Uh, I don't think Kai had a chance to run Millstream. It's been no, closed. No, have. we haven't yet. Yeah. But, uh, but I've closed down. Probably, obviously, I really enjoy going to Eldora in Ohio, but I'll tell you, that, that Attica track, I, I have a soft spot for that place. That's really racy. Yeah. I enjoy going there. See, Scott, I've had a chance to race both, so. I said, well, you've, That's it. You've also been racing for 100 years, too. <laughs> uh, only 75 years. <laughs> so, uh, in the States, you're, you're running uh, Paul Stubber's car? That's what, that's right. Yep. Okay. How how did that deal come about? Well, I was over here in twenty. I think it was twenty seventeen, um, and that was the first year I started racing late models. So I came over here to um, try and you know learn as much as I could, um, and I hooked up with Tim McCready, and I, I worked for him for a couple of weeks or whatever. And then it was time for me to go home. Um, I had a flight booked, and uh, a guy called Josh Fraser actually called me out of the blue, and he was working for Paul, and he said, "Hey, you know, what's your plans right now?" And I said, "I'm just about to fly out." He said, look, Paul Stubber, he really needs um, another crew guy or whatever. Um, you know, can we make something work? So I met up with – that was the first time I ever met him. I met him at uh, – I think it was Hilltop. I might have met him at Hilltop. And uh, we did the, the Buckeye Speed Weeks together. Um, and then he offered me a job just Thursdays after work to kind of help maintain his car and stuff. And one thing led to another, and now I'm driving his equipment. So <laughs> it's pretty cool how that worked out. And you're doing a really fine job doing it. Oh, yeah. Thanks, sir. I'm having fun, that's for damn sure. <laughs> now, what about uh, back home in Australia? Who's, uh, whose stuff are you running there? So, we, for the most part, we run our own gear. Um, at the end of uh, the year before last, which would have been 2021, um, I had Longhorn equipment, and I, I sold all of that, and um, we're kind of at a crossroads. We had a couple of motor problems, and you know how this sport is. It's bloody expensive. Um, so, yeah, we were, we were pretty much done, and then Paul kind of handed me a lifeline, and I ran his rocket stuff last year, and, and then, yeah, now i got a gig in America. So, so yeah, who, as who, I said, pretty cool. Who's, who's, uh, whose equipment's more top of the line, yours or Paul's? Oh, Paul and Alice do things <laughs> properly. Okay. They're really organized. They have great equipment. Um, yeah, there's definitely no excuses when you're driving for Paul and Alice. I, Saturday, I saw you doing a little panel beating. Yeah, that's how it goes, yep. <laughs> I, I, As I said before, I have a tendency back home to, um, because it's a little faster, I run the cushion a bit, and, uh, you know, sometimes that uh, that comes with a bit of panel waiting, so well, we're and, used to it. And Paul really likes his stuff neat and tidy. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, we try, that summer national is tough, right? You, you don't have a whole lot of time to um, keep, your, keep your stuff up, but Paul prides himself on having nice-looking equipment, so we try our best. So you have, you have the nickname, The Highlight. How did you uh, earn that? I think it's just probably because we run the cushion a lot and yeah, tear a lot of stuff up. I guess the, the cameras take notice, you know. So that's how you make the highlight reel. You just tear stuff I up. I guess uh, that's right. <laughs> and Eldora, it, it happens. Eldora is still your favorite track, then? With, without a doubt. I think um, the track itself is is one thing, but man, when you roll in there, you feel the campers, and you drive in through the gates, and you go down that back straight there. It's just it's a whole experience, and. When I went there for the first time, I rang my dad from the pit area and I said, Dad, 100% we're running here before I retire. And um, a couple of years later, yeah, we got the opportunity to have a skid and, and um, yeah, here we are. And did you, when did you get into the States this year? Did you, were you in there in time to run the dream? Yeah, we got here early May actually. And okay. I did, uh, I think I did maybe two weekends or something like that prior to, um, prior to going to the dream. So, yeah. Where'd you end up in the dream? Uh, that's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> wasn't too good memorable question. then, huh? That was no, a hell tour no, ago, Scott. I got gotcha. you. Yeah, that's exactly right. How, how, exactly how, how, right. Yeah, speaking of speaking of which, how long is it taking you to uh, decompress after uh, after the hell tour? Oh, or are you I still think... decompressing? 
Yeah, yeah. We we're grooving some tyres. We're going to Jacksonville, Illinois tomorrow. So we're grooving some tyres today. And uh, it kind of hit Joe and I both that, um, you know, we kind of wound down enough. And, and yeah, everything kind of crept up. Because after Wayne County, we went and tested at Muskingum and stuff, you know, trying to get better. So it's still all go, go, go. And then, yeah, got back to the shop this morning and um, it all caught up. We had an hour long shower and. You know what it's like living in the Toto. You, you, you don't get the opportunity to have long showers. So we had a long shower and um, had a bit of a kip. Spent a little time with Donnie Moran. That's right. Yeah, Donnie, his, uh, his experience is invaluable. So we're pretty lucky to get some time to uh, to spend with him. Yeah. A kip's asleep, Scott, if you What's that? A kip is asleep? A kip is asleep. Okay, yes. thank you for kip's that. Yeah. <laughs> Again, Des is our official Australian interpreter here with us. A kip's asleep, yeah. <laughs> Uh, so you you've had a lot of uh, big wins, uh, especially over in Australia. You're Australian uh, late model champion, three time uh, late model nationals winner. What uh, what is uh, the biggest win of your career so far? Um, I'd probably say it's a tie between the Australian title and uh, you know it might only be a heat race, but winning that heat race at um, Eldora was pretty special to me. Um, at the time, you know you don't really think about it, right? You're just trying to get in the show and make things happen or whatever, but. Once I got home and then um, we didn't get to come back because of COVID, you know, you're watching it, you're watching it on TV and you're thinking, you know, that was pretty cool what we did the other year. So, um, yeah, that one as well for sure. So the heat race uh, at Allura win, that, that's your biggest win in the States, you'd say? Definitely, yep, yep. Yeah. Cool. Now, this is a question that I, I've asked a lot of our Australian guests. We've had quite a few Australians actually on. Um, cool. the, I, think was, I think it was Alan Blake the first time, the first person oh, I asked Oh, goodness, us. Alan Blake. You would have got some stories out of that, man. <laughs> yeah, I asked him about Australian pursuit races, and he looked yep. at me like I was crazy. He was like, what the hell is an Australian pursuit race? And I, is that I, cycling? What's that? Is it cycling? It, it is used in cycling. You're is right. It, that, is it? That type of format, yes. It's. Uh, it, are you familiar with an Australian pursuit race? Well, not in dirt track, right? So no, I don't know what it is. You, you start single file. You have eight or ten cars. Uh, usually, the if it's like top ten in points, the top in points would start tenth, and tenth in points would start in first. You run ten laps, and basically, whenever you get past, you're out. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So it's kind of like I've a, never been. A, I've never been a part of that before. Okay, yeah. The, actually, I think they have one coming up at, at uh, Fremont Speedway Fremont? for Remember the four ten sprints. Yeah. Twenty five hundred dollars to win. No way. 10 lap race. That's unreal. <laughs> a 10 lap race. Right. My, my question is uh, well, since you're not familiar with it, I guess uh, there is no American pursuit races in Australia then. <laughs> no, no, no. But what we have probably different is we have what's called a pole shuffle. So you would have like, um, say there's a top 10 pole shuffle, 10th place and 9th place race for two laps. The winner of that stays it's on the on. track and an 8th place comes out and races him. So we do that quite a bit. Um, and then obviously dash racing or whatever, but. Yeah, never, never, uh, never experienced an Australian pursuit. That's for sure. Scott, I've seen a couple of tracks in the U.S. doing that pole shuffle, so it, it's okay. yeah, yeah. it's really pretty cool. I think the fans get around it. So, Ron, he was uh, like one of the guys. Uh, I guess he considers himself a pioneer in uh, yeah. late, dirt late model racing in Australia, bringing it there. Um, yep. Are you yeah. are you familiar with him, Ron Miller? Absolutely. Okay. I think everyone in Australia late model is. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think about the uh, the americans coming over and running uh, dirt late models uh, pretty much every year scott uh, I, th- I think kai is ready for them this time well yeah <laughs> well i think it's critical to australian late model racing to have americans come out you know you think you're doing a good job or whatever and then billy moyer and turbo come out and absolutely <laughs> kick their butts so it's good it's good i mean like our equipment back home is pretty good, but those guys bring in, um, usually they bring in good equipment as well. And then obviously their talents behind the wheel and, and ability to set them up, it kind of drags our competition level up as well. So I feel like if the Americans didn't come, we'd be a long, long way behind. I remember when we came over winter of, I think it was 99, 2000, um, mm-hmm. You know, Ivor Ladwig is running airbags, and we we looked at some of the bodies that had been built, and and, and, and the guys at that point, uh, our Aussie friends, thought that they had read the uh, American rule book and and understood where we were. So yeah, I, I think going over there was was a big a big help in uh, without a doubt get, getting late models started <laughs> in the right direction. 
Yeah, I know, like, without uh, the Americans coming over, when Brad and Alan would come over and run at Oakshade or Eldora or whatever, there's no way they would have been competitive had the Americans not been to Australia and kind of sped their learning process up as well. Now, when you come, when you're running the States here, I mean, uh, I'm assuming that uh, people are welcome. You don't, you don't feel like an outsider. It's like Australia versus the world or anything. Uh, I'm <laughs> sure people are, are welcoming you. Without a doubt, yeah. Um, I mean, for the most part, I don't think people care, right? They're just trying to stomp your throat, regardless if you're Australian <laughs> or American. <laughs> well, that's when you're on the track. I'm just talking about in the pits in general. Yeah, like no, nah, really friendly. You know, I mean, a lot of the time, the parting words an American will say, if you need anything, just sing out. And that's, that's handy. You know, we, we try and stock as much as we can in our trailer and stuff. But, I mean, especially the first few times we came over, we had no idea what exactly we needed. So we had to call on some people a few times and everyone's been more than happy to help out. Cool. So uh, is the dream, uh, is that going to be the, or I'm sorry, the, the World 100, is that going to be your uh, last race uh, this season? Well, we're going to do two more weekends after the world. We're going to stay and do the Mars races. I think it finishes up maybe at Tri-City. Okay. Um, and then, yeah, I think that's a 24th, 25th or something. And then we're going to pack everything up, put the toter away and uh, fly on the 28th. Um, I think the season starts up um, early October, so we're going to try and... Um, Joe Chalmers came over and he's helped me out um, big time over the, this trip. So we're going to try and get him sped up and see if he can't give everyone a, a whooping back home. Now, uh, Craig Vosbergen, he, he's been over here, right? Yep, and Craig and Brent, yep. Okay, they, they've both been racing. Are they racing? You, you were saying you were thinking about running the Mars Tour. Is that where, where they've been racing? Um, they did, uh, they did some Lucas stuff. Um, they did, they did a couple of nights on the summer nationals. Um, they kind of hit and miss. They, they based themselves out of Tennessee with Roger Sellers. Um, they kind of followed those guys around and, um, uh, Brent's really good back home. He, um, he's the Australian champion. So, um, it was good to come, good for him to come out here and, uh, you know, run the number one as well. Where, where's your, where's your headquarters, uh, for when you're in the States? Greencastle, Indiana, about 40 minutes from Indianapolis. Um, we fly into Indy and I mean, Fairbury's only three hours away or something like that. So, um, it's, it's really central for us. Cool. And, uh, this weekend, uh, you said you're racing tomorrow night. Uh, yeah. Jacksonville, Illinois, and then Peaveley on Saturday, um, Davenport, Iowa on Tuesday. Um, and then after that, we're going to go to the Prairie Dirt Classic at Fairbury, um, after that, that's a really good question. Uh, man, I'm still, I'm, you know how people say they have baby brain? I feel like I've got some national's brain right now. <laughs> that's okay. Well, we ask Rusty Schlenk when he's racing next. He's like, I don't know until the morning of. Yeah, so. yeah, that's that's a beauty. I mean, for us, as Ron would know, like you're jumping in the truck and you're driving three, four, five, six hours to go f- to a race in Australia. If that gets rained out, you're done. You don't get a race for another fortnight. Well, over over here, Someone gets rained out. You drive an hour in the other direction or something. You're going to get a race. So yeah, for the most yeah. part, it's um yeah, the ability to race anywhere and, and everywhere is pretty cool. Well, our our guests typically go on to win their next race. So uh, when you get that race at, at Jackson, you're going to be like uh, that'll be your biggest win, right? He's, he's going to break Absolutely. the ice. This I'll weekend. make sure I'll make sure that I I'll, I'll shout you guys out in victory lane if we All get right. there. That's for sure. <laughs> yeah. awesome. Oh, another thing uh, when our Visitor, our, our guests do come on, go on to win. Uh, we usually get free T-shirts. <laughs> Done. Hey, I'm telling you what, if we win that race tomorrow night at Jacksonville, you guys can all have free T-shirts, no problem. <laughs> Scott and I are both size large. <laughs> there you go. Uh, besides uh, Facebook, uh, Kai Blight Racing, uh, is there anywhere else uh, people can kind of keep up with you? Yeah, get on Bar 31. Um, Paul, that's Paul and Alice's race team. They they kind of keep us uh, keep us up to date. Um, and yeah, that that should keep uh, keep everyone informed of what's going on over here. And uh, Bar Thirty One, one of your uh, major sponsors. Any other sponsors you want to give a shout out to? Yeah, I've got to say a massive thank you to uh, Keith Burner at Aki Force. We get over here every year. I mean, I raced eight times in the in the summertime, and then we got over here, and I felt like I was way behind. We spent two days with Keith. He kind of sped us up on everything, and and keeps us informed on what's going on. And uh, if I'm doing a crappy job behind the wheel, he makes sure he lets me know about it as well. So. <laughs> Um, yeah, Keith, Keith Burner, um, Sonoco Fuels, Rocket Chassis, Andy Durham Racing Engines, everyone involved in the 31, man. It's it's cool to be over here and, and spending a fair chunk of the year racing. So 
it, it, it all goes a long way. Oh, I know a lot of fans uh, enjoy uh, watching you race, uh, getting to meet you. I, I know some people at Oakshade on Saturday that said, he's the nicest guy ever. So, <laughs> so, uh, well, we, uh, we, we had a, a mishap with a guy at Macon, and we, we worked until like 5.30 in the morning, and, and people were coming over giving us food or um, you know, coming over just ch- chatting while we worked on the car and stuff. And it's really good. It keeps your spirits up and, and uh, keeps you going up and down the road. So um, it's great to meet great people. Makes it all worthwhile. Absolutely, it does. Yeah. All right, man. Well, get back to work uh, getting those tires ready for tomorrow <laughs> night, so you can pick up uh, that win. Ten four. Thanks very much, guys. I think Thanks, we're done Kai. with our interpreter too. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Cheers, Des. Thanks, Kai. Bye. See ya. Right. No worries. See you guys. There you go, Kai Blight, uh, Australian dirt league model racer. He's a he's a he's a hoot. I like him. Oh, he's good guy. He's going to be lost when he get back gets back home because he's. Kind of Americanized. Is he going to speak? Is he going to need a, a translator when he gets back to Australia? Right. It'll take him a while to to get back to being Aussie. And the guy right. who came with him to help him with the car, Joe Chalmers, is a very capable driver. He probably, from what he's learned, helping this off season, he'll be the top driver back home. All right. In my view, anyway. Well, don't mean to hit you in the face with no, the, the microphone. Right. There you go. <laughs> Just uh, a you- reflex check. There's. Yeah, 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 that's yeah. right. Uh, don't forget to type uh, hashtag DCR in the comments. Here, we'll put this back up here uh, for your chance to win a uh, free window sticker courtesy of DCR Graphics, a Hammerdown Racing Report window sticker. Uh, if you don't uh, win, I forget which camera's on. If you don't win uh, one of these, you can just get one, $5, slap it on uh, your, your street car, slap it on your race car again, and uh, take a picture of it on your race car, send us a picture, or post it on our uh, Facebook page, and we'll... Add you to the Hammerdown Racing Report fleet. It's nice artwork. It is. Great. I did that. That was you me. Did it? Yeah, that's why yeah. it's awesome. Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Contact Freeze Frame Photos for all your racing photo needs from action shots to victory lane, custom magnets, can koozies, tumblers, freeze frame, uh, kids' nights. Uh, back at Oak Shade Raceway with the first 50 kids will get a uh, free 4x6 photo. Uh, all kinds of sponsors uh, helping out with that. And, uh, yeah, uh, call Charlie. Uh, he can do custom photo sessions, too. 419-476-9978, Freeze Frame Photos. Special moments frozen in time. You can also check them out, Freeze Frame Photos, online on uh, Facebook. And Ryan Miller Race Cars, give him a call, 734-856-7223, Race Cars, Parts, Safety, Equipment. Do you have a lot of cars to work on this week? No, it's actually Surprisingly not. not too bad. Okay. Um, a lot of parts, though. A lot of parts. <laughs> okay. I think I might have broke my uh, um, temperature gauge again. You what? I, it, it, we'll see. We'll see. We'll talk about that later. Yeah, okay. Uh, before we get to uh, racing news, uh, there's a, another face that's joined us. I was going to tell you somebody's <laughs> off on the on the. <laughs> Who is that guy? Somebody's drinking on the show, Scott. <laughs> Jerry Keezer, announcer it's at... Up, I promise. Lima Land, uh, they got something special going on this uh, weekend. Did you get information on that? I got a little bit for us. Uh, it, it is uh, going. To, they're going to be racing modified. So uh, that modified. Okay. Being well, let's uh, the, go ahead. We we haven't really started talking about it. So go ahead and give us the the name and everything that's going on here. Well, a couple months ago, uh, Longhorn Chassis partnered with University of Northwestern Ohio. And they've been talking and working some things out, and they have put together what's called the UNOH Celebrity Dollar Double Dash. It's presented by Longhorn Chassis. What I can tell you is, is it kind of started down in Florida last year. Travis Pastrana picked up a, a modified and, and it started doing some dirt UMP modified racing. Uh, and he, he is in a Longhorn Chassis car. And his buddy Matt Crafton and he had a $1 bet. Well, that's carrying over to this. It's going to be $1 to win. That's right, just $1, not 1000 not <laughs> just $1. But there is a very special trophy that's been made, and it'll be unveiled tomorrow at the track. And that will trophy will only be contested, as far as we know right now, at Lima Land Motorsports Park once a year by these drivers. So it'll be Travis Pastrana in his own Longhorn chassis, number 199. Matt Crafton in his modified, number 88. Uh, Michael Leach, who does pilot a, a Longhorn chassis modified, will be there. He's a UN, uh, UMP modified racer out west. And then the stuntman Jim York is also involved in this. Uh, he's going to be driving one of our UNOH owned modifieds. So it, does he have any? Be, uh, does he have any modified experience? Not it, that I know of. Oh, so boy. he should get to start on the pole. I'm thinking. 
Well, it, it's the way this works is they are going to start. Uh, I, I'm assuming random draw. They're going to run five laps, and then we'll throw the yellow flag, and then invert the field. So if he's running last, he's going to restart the second I half gotcha. up front. So he'll have a good chance to win if he picks it up in five laps. But uh, it, it's going to be entertaining no matter what. Obviously, Travis Pastrana, his entertainment value is through the roof. Everything he's done with Nitro Circus, X Games, 13-time gold medal winner at the X Games. Uh, Matt Crafton, three-time NASCAR uh, Truck Series champ. He's he's always fun. Well, and Crafton's uh, not... Knows- Crafton's no slouch behind the microphone either. No, no, absolutely not. I, I'm sure we're going to have a blast. Uh, I, I probably won't get a word in vertical tomorrow, which is unusual for me, but I'm going to enjoy it. I'll enjoy the break from the mic. Well, that'll be cool. You have to tell me about it Saturday then. I want to know how it goes. I, absolutely. I'm, I'm sure there'll be some cameras involved, and then <laughs> we'll, we'll have some fun. And then, uh, So this is going to be, be up at, this will be a kind of a, an annual thing then. As far as we know right now, it's going to be annual. It may turn into something a little more. I, we don't know yet. We're going to see how it goes and, and kind of go from there. But it is going to be a traveling trophy. The winner's going to take it with them. It might get contested again when they go back to Florida uh, next winter. But it, we'll see how, how it all plays out and kind of go from there. But either way, it's, it's a great partnership between Longhorn Chassis and the University of Northwestern Ohio. And obviously, you know, with UNOH owning Lima Land, it just made sense to bring it here. So... It's going to be a trophy and a $1 bill. $1 bill, yeah. $1 bill. You got it. Now, is there any <laughs> chance that inflation will step in and the winner somewhere could be uh, get a $2 bill? I, I don't think so. That's like a 100% increase there. That's, that's, yeah, that, that's, 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 that's way over right. inflation. <laughs> Ron, are you practicing yeah. Bidenomics again? Yeah, yeah, that's me. <laughs> I'm spending the government's money like we have it. All right, man. That's nope, uh, tomorrow. It'll be a fun time tomorrow at Lima Land, uh, along with our regular show. That's going to be in addition to our regular program with the NRA Sprint Invaders. Uh, it's the KNL Ready Mix Clash presented by KNL Ready Mix. NRA Sprint Invaders, the regular UMP modified show, the Northwest, uh, sorry, Midwest Shooting Center, Dirt Car UMP Modifieds, and our Lock 16 Thunderstocks all in action. And then we'll have the UNOH Celebrity Dollar Double Dash presented by Longhorn Chassis, featuring Travis Pastrana, Matt Crafton. Jim York, the stuntman, and uh, Michael Leach, UMP modified driver from out west. No, wait, I'm not sure. Did did Longhorn Chassis put that dollar up, or is that between Crafton and Pastrana? Well, between all four of them, but I got a feeling I, I, I'm i going to have to pull a dollar out of my pocket in Victory Lane. As I, oh, the, Jerry, <laughs> say it's not so. <laughs> They're making them. You pay? Jeez. No, nobody's making me pay, but if I don't remember to grab it out of the tower or whatever envelope they have, yeah. I'm sure I'm just going to have to whip it out of my pocket. So. Well, they got to have oh. one and of those. Saturday, they, they I'm to have Oakshade Raceway. And I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, two weeks in a row. <laughs> gonna hit, <laughs> or Two weeks in a month, let's put it that there way, to head, head it over to hang out with Scott and Ron and everybody at Oakshade and get to see some of the, the great race in there again. So I'm looking forward to that. As are we. Are you going to stick around or are you, you uh, just popping in here for that? I'm just popping in. We got a little okay. break in the storms here. My, my internet's been crazy for the last two hours. It comes and goes. I was trying to watch the races from Winchester. They got crown Vicks on the track now, but it was, I was getting well, upset because I couldn't even watch qualifying. And we had virtually no rain here at all. Yeah, it just drizzled a little. Heard some rumbles. Ah, we got nothing. It, it, it's rumbled here for two hours. We got one real good downpour, but otherwise, it's it's basically done. I was just looking at the radar. There's a little bit behind it that we may catch the edge of, but nothing that's going to affect racing stuff. tomorrow, though. No, not at all. Tomorrow's looking wonderful. If anything, it probably helped Ryan out getting a little more moisture right in the track and safe. And gas there you have it. Our more. weekend weather pit stop, <laughs> courtesy of Jerry Keyser. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Jerry, just the uh, I got the I got this thing in the way here. Hold on. Whoops. Just the X. Just the tip. Just oh, it does say tip. Okay, I see that now. Just the tip. Very nice. If you haven't gone axe throwing, check it out. It's a good time. Uh, a buddy of mine's opening in his own facility here in Lima at the Lima Mall. Uh, coming soon. Watch for more details on that. You should be a car salesman. No. <laughs> Ooh, that's one that he hasn't tried yet. All right, Jerry. Yeah. All right, guys. Have a good one. Thanks, Jerry. Thanks again for having me. Yeah, we'll see you. <laughs>
Well, I'll let you take care. You can you leave. I'm, otherwise, I'm just leaving you on there. All right. <laughs> uh, again, if you want to get in on that uh, drawing for the uh, window decal, the hammer down racing report window decal, uh, hashtag DCR. Uh, we're going to be uh, drawing for that here very shortly. In the meantime, we do have uh, some a little bit of racing news to get. Latest racing news. I mentioned earlier the uh, SRX stop at Thunder Road, uh, originally scheduled for tonight, uh, has been canceled due to the state of emergency in Vermont. They had all the flooding over there. Oh, yeah. So uh, that's why the series will be racing again tonight, starting at 9 o'clock at Stafford for okay. the second week in a row. Chandler Smith was in contention to win Saturday's race at New Hampshire, but needed medical attention after his cooling suit failed. Instead of pumping cool water... It started pumping hot water after uh, he won stage one. Smith was treated with bags of ice and taken to the uh, medical center for IVs. So what, what? Dehydration? I would assume so. Yeah. How long have we had cool suits? How did people survive like before forever. cool suits? Okay. They've been around forever? They're, they're nothing new. Uh, so it's know. weird that one would uh, malfunction like that. Yeah, maybe, maybe the ice packs melted and got hot or maybe something got to be a way to just drain the water out you'd think and turn it off yeah i don't know uh tyler courtney suffered a back injury in a crash during friday night's world of outlaws feature at eldora speedway courtney is the two-time defending all-star circuit of champion title winner uh he's also the leading all-star points or he was leading the uh, the all-star points this year Clausen marshall announced on monday that anthony macri will fill in uh, for the all-star events and uh, World of Outlaw races will be filled in by Corey Day. Wait, I think that's right. No, Macri's going to fill in for All-Star and World of Outlaw. Corey Day is going to fill in for the high limit races. There oh, okay. Go. I read that wrong. Did you see that crash then? Friday yes. Night? Was that, I, didn't, I haven't seen a replay or anything. Yet. Yeah, no, it was, it was um, pretty hard. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was announced on Wednesday. Former guests Zeth Sabo and Jay Kaiser have parted ways. Zeth has uh, one win this year at uh, Attica Raceway Park. Right. So, and the sprint car shuffle of drivers it's continues. Crazy. It's absolutely every week. Crazy. Uh, I is Zeth going to be in uh, Rich Farmer's car the rest of the year, or do we know? I don't. That's all the uh, all all it said. So, we can look into that more. Dave, look into that more. It's, it's, he gets paid the big bucks. Shane Van Gisbergen's debut in the NASCAR Cup Series was so impressive at the Chicago Street Race. Uh, you know, he right. made his debut and won that. He is uh, going to drive the Project 91 car for Trackhouse Racing again at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway Road Course in the uh, August uh, 13th Verizon 200. I'll bet he'll be spectacular. Yeah, you think so? I'm thinking he, he was sure good in Chicago. Absolutely. No hammer down, a hotline playback this week oh and if you uh we, we didn't talk about the chicken dance at the beginning of the show did we no we didn't no we, we wanted to get straight to uh to uh to business to, yeah we were, we were a little d delayed there yeah uh that was uh actually uh record report uh, reporter perry cox former record report uh, reporter back when we first started we used to do a weekly sec segment called the uh record report uh so at the beginning, and it was a hoot. It really was. At the beginning of the show, uh, yeah, he he was doing a thing. I think it was a pancake uh, breakfast or something benefit. Oh, for, I think it was a chicken, or maybe it was a chicken dinner. Yeah, I guess that would and, make more sense because he's uh, dressed up in his chicken suit dancing. So if you to, uh, uh, to to benefit their their fire department, yeah. I believe. If uh, so, if you're listening to us on, on uh, a podcast with no video, you might want to check out just the, at least the beginning of of this week's show on, on Facebook Live, uh, the video. And watch That'll Perry Cox make a fool of himself. And if you missed it earlier, here it is again. We're, we'll just, is a little, we're not actually starting the show over, but this is what you missed. <laughs> but uh, our very own Perry Cox doing the chicken dance. Well, and I, I guess they were doing a drive-through, Scott, and uh, for for the uh, for the chicken dinners, and they were asking for donations, and it was going a little slow, so I guess Colton. he started sticking his head in the window and said, "You want to make a donation?" I thought it. Uh, I thought he said his son was. Uh, Maybe it was. Was. was uh, 
Very convincing, I believe, yeah. was the terminology. Uh, let's give away some uh, Big D's pizza here before we give away that window sticker. Yeah. How many? Well, last week's how many, Yeah, Scott? let's talk about last week's how many. How many uh, late models are going to be at Oakshade on Saturday? 49. And my number was? 48. Yeah. I picked 45. I went the wrong way, apparently. 49. That was very surprising. Boy, I'll tell you what, the I, weather. I was terrified at first. I, I thought that we were both going to miss by a mile. <laughs> but the cars just kept coming in and coming in. And our winner, uh, listener winner, Matt Swander, picked uh, 46. Really? So he... Should have listened to me. He wants to donate his uh, pizza to first responders of uh, Dean's Choice. So, okay, and, Dean, and if you would that. handle that. Absolutely. So uh, this week's how many? Wait. What? That 49 cars, was that highest in the Summer Nationals? I don't know. You weren't in the tower. I was not in the tower that night, so I, I don't know. I know not. But uh, this week's how many? Maybe one of our associate producers. <laughs> We're asking him lots of questions, and I haven't had the comments on here. Zeth will be in Farmer's Car. Yay. Um, let's see if we missed anything else here. Okay. Uh, this week's how many? Chance to win a Big D's pizza. How many sprint cars will be at Butler? Butler Motor Speedway on Saturday night. Oh, and that's a big Saturday deal this night. weekend. It's the uh, uh, Chuck Wilson Memorial. Yeah. So. And I guess his son Chad has uh, scored a ride for that race. So uh, Chad was only semi-retired. He'll he'll be back. Okay. So if you want a chance to win a Big D's Pizza, put your guess in the comments of our Facebook Live or YouTube Live as to uh, how many you think uh, – We'll have at Butler on Saturday night. Just put the number in. That's it. If you guess more than once, you're going to get black flagged. If you change your guess after you put it in initially, you'll get black flagged. And uh, we'll go on. Whoever's Chuck, closest will win that Big D's Pizza next week. Chuck Wilson was a very highly respected sprint car and midget racer uh, in a northwestern Ohio, southeast Michigan area. And you're stalling because you get to pick first since you won. There, I'll help you out. There you go. 28. <laughs> <laughs> that was very... Uh, very sure of yourself with that one. Very yeah, confident. I, was, I stalled for a reason, bud. Yeah. Well, I'm going to go with... Uh, You're going 27. I'm going 29 because last time, last year, oh, or okay. last week I went the wrong way. So I'm going 20. Do you want to you want a shot at this one, Des? I'd say 25. 25. He's a little pessimistic. Okay. So uh, get your guess in. You have until, uh, if you're listening to us on uh, Apple Podcasts or, or any other podcasting platform, not live, you can still get in on it. Just uh, find our Facebook Live or YouTube Live and uh, just put your comment in, your number, before 4 o'clock on Saturday evening, the 22nd. No, I think 4 o'clock Eastern I, I just, for our Australian listeners. I, I, I think uh, <laughs> AFCS Sprint Cars are at Attica and Fremont this weekend. So, you know, th there could have been a couple of Chuck Wilson fans that, might be committed to the series. I don't know. I think that's next weekend. I could be wrong. Pretty sure. Not 100%. As I'm stalling. Do, 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 do. What is today? This weekend? Oh, you're right. It is uh, 21st, 22nd. Okay. Huh. Yeah. Look at that. Ryan Miller, the professor's right. Again, that's really crazy. Wrong. Haven't you learned not to question me, Scott? Come on, dude. I question everything. <laughs> All right. Authority. Question um, authority. As soon as we go through the uh, Big D's Pizza racing menu here, we'll do that drawing for the Hammerdown Racing Report window decal. So uh, last call to get to hashtag DCR in the comments. If, uh, and we've, if you've already yeah. done that, you're all set. You don't need to worry about it. If uh, you have not uh, done that yet, you still have some time to get in on that drawing. Thanks to... Uh, DCR graphics. Uh, in the meantime, let's uh, check out our racing menu for this week. This weekend, Big D's Pizza. If you're in Australia and, and you want to try uh, to win that, we could probably arrange for uh, delivery back to uh, the Perth area. <laughs> you send them back with him. That's it. <laughs> okay. So All right. if you're in Australia, hashtag DCR. All right, here we go. This weekend, Big D's Pizza racing menu. 
Friday night, tomorrow night, we uh, just spoke with Jerry there. Uh, the KNL Ready Mix Clash at Lima Land Motorsports Park with the NRA Sprints uh, as well as the Great Lake Super Sprints. I guess that's a combined banner this weekend. UMP Modifies, Thunderstocks, and that UNOH Celebrity Dollar Double Dash featuring uh, X Game legend Travis Pastrana, uh, NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series uh, champion Matt Crafton, Stunt man Jim York and uh, UMP modified racer Michael Leach. So yeah, dollars they get they're racing for a dollar and a traveling trophy. Gates open at five, racing at seven thirty. General admission just twelve bucks for that show Friday night. Also Friday night, Attica Raceway Park. It is the Aetna Supply Hanson Aggregates uh, night with the uh, four ten sprints Attica Oakshade Late Models three hundred five sprints. Gates open at five, racing at seven forty five. General admission eighteen dollars. And, uh, yeah, that's uh, AFCS for uh, both the uh, 305s and the 410s at Attica and Fremont. Sure. Uh, Saturday night, Flat Rock Speedway. It's the Moran Chevrolet Stan Yee Memorial 150, featuring Outlaw Super Late Models, fa- Figure Eights, and Street Stocks. Gates open at 430, racing at 7, General Mission $25. Oakshade Raceway, it's the Oakshade Attica Late Model Challenge Series. Night number two of that. Sportsman, Dominator, Super Stocks, Compacts, all in action. Gates open at four, racing at seven. General Mission, $14 at Oak Chain. Fremont, Speedway, Crown Battery Night. Four uh, tens, 305s, Dirt Trucks. Gates open at four, racing at seven. Butler Motor Speedway, it's the uh, Chuck Wilson Memorial, featuring four ten Sprints, UMP Modified, Street Stocks, and four cylinders. Gates open at four, racing at 7.30. Other uh, series action. Tonight, uh, as we mentioned, the uh, Superstar Racing Experience at Stafford Speedway. That'll be at uh, 9 o'clock on ESPN. The uh, Lucas Oil Late Model Dirt Series, Silver Dollar Nationals Weekend at Houston Speedway. That's tonight through Saturday. Uh, The Tezos All-Star Circuit of Champions, 34 Raceway on Friday night. Spoon River Speedway, it's the Rumble on the River River on uh, Saturday. And Red Hill Raceway on Sunday. Then next week, it's... uh, Benton Speedway on uh, Wednesday night, the uh, 26th of July. World of Outlaw, NASA Energy Drink, Sprint Car Series Action, Champion Oil, Summer Nationals at Williams Grove Speedway on uh, Friday and Saturday night. High Limit Sprint Car Series uh, back in action at Grandview Speedway. That's in uh, Pennsylvania on Tuesday night, July 25th. Arkham Menard Series in action this weekend. The Sunset Hill Shooting Range 150. That's Friday night at 6 o'clock on FS1. From uh, Pocono, the NTT IndyCar Series, the High V Homefront 250 at Iowa Speedway on Saturday, the 22nd. That's at 3 o'clock on NBC. And then the High V One Step 250 on Sunday, 2 o'clock on NBC. So a double header for the NTT IndyCar Series. NASCAR Truck Series in action uh, at Pocono for the CRC Brake Clean 150. That's Saturday at noon. On Fox Sports One, so I guess Matt Crafton's going to be going from Lyman Land and getting his butt out to the other side of Pennsylvania for that. He's probably got a private jet. Yeah, he's probably all right. Uh, NASCAR Xfinity Series action also Saturday at uh, Pocono Raceway. Explore the Pocono Mountains 225. That'll be at 5.30 p.m. on USA Network. And then finally, the Cup Series in action at the highpoint.com 400 Pocono Sunday, 2.30 on USA Network. And how's the weather looking uh, for this weekend, Mr. Mr. I think, uh, Scott, I, I looked just before we got on, and uh, there's there's a slight chance of a shower tomorrow morning. No big deal. Tomorrow afternoon, evening should be fine. Saturday looks great. I think we're in for a great week, racing So weekend. no rainouts this weekend? No rainouts and no need for weekend. winter coats or rain jackets? Not yet. Okay. <laughs> Excellent. M- Mother Nature's been a little off her meds, though, so it's hard to tell. All right. We are going to give away this uh, Hammer Down Race Report window sticker courtesy of DCR Graphics. Uh, hopefully, you got your hashtag DCR in the comments. That puts you in the running. And we're going to bring up this and draw for that winner. You ready? I am. Got to pick it up from Ron Miller Race Cars. Here we go. Flipping through the names. Or or possibly Steve Miller at Oakshade Raceway. Bill Blycamp, congratulations. You okay. got yourself a Hammer Down Racing Report window sticker. 
you can pick up from Ron Miller Race Cars, or yeah, you can uh, arrange to meet one of us out of at, out sure. at Oakshade if you're you're out there. Thirty days to claim your uh, sticker. If you don't claim it by then, we're going to give it to someone else, and then we get we'll to sell it or sell it. Yeah, yeah. Well, hey, that's five, five bucks is five bucks, Scott. <laughs> Uh, again, if you uh, would like to buy one of your own, you can uh, contact DCR Graphics. Um, he sells them at the track, or you can get a hold of him at uh, 419-308-9523. Call or text. Again, that's 419-308-9523. That number uh, scrolling at the bottom of the screen every once in a while. And uh, he'll mail it to you, bring it to the track, whatever. Just uh, five bucks for one of those window stickers. So congratulations to Phil Blykamp. That's uh, about going to do it for this edition of the Hammer Down Racing Report. Thanks to uh, associate producer Dave Kemmer and uh, con- contributors uh, John Young, Dean Henry, Matt Swander, Bob Stazak. Make sure to like us on Facebook if you haven't already. If you have, we appreciate it. Follow us on Twitter at Hammer Report. Follow us on uh, YouTube. Listen to us on your favorite podcasting uh, platform, including Apple Podcasts, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and you can uh, find out everything else you need to know at HammerDownRacingReport.com. Summer's flying by. Get your butts to a racetrack somewhere this Sunday, this weekend. That's right. We are uh, 10 shows away from our 300th show. That's scary. So we're, Dave's working on a big party for it. He doesn't know it yet, but he's working on a big party for it. It's going to be a big event. Maybe we'll do some of the big D's. I'm thinking. Weather still should be good. Is free pizza September. involved? Probably if we do it at big D's. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. Uh, make sure to rate, review us, share us with your friends. Bring your friends to the racetrack and then uh, introduce them to the show. That's cool too. Could Thank- we? Could we? Could we even get Dean Henry on? On the show? Yeah, we could try. He's he's not. No, I know. He doesn't seem very but, keen on the idea when but, I say, but, "Hey, you want to be on the show?" But, but if we're a Big D's Pizza, we'd almost oh, well, have almost to. have to. Yeah, yeah. you're right. Uh, thanks to our sponsors, DCR Graphics, Dominator Race Products, Big D's Pizza, Oakshade Raceway, Romulo Race Cars, Freeze Frame Photos, and Headhunters Barber Studio and Salon. If you're interested in being a sponsor of the Hammerdown Race Report, send us a message or call the uh, Hammerdown Hotline, 419-318-3081. Forgot to mention that. We didn't have uh, any uh, Hammerdown Hotline calls this week. But, uh, yeah, feel free to call or text anytime, day or night. There's that number on the screen, 419-318-3081. Comment about the racing, whatever you, th- whatever, whatever. motorsports related you want to talk about. Yeah. Comment on uh, our interview with Kai Blight, speaking yeah. of which. Uh, thanks to uh, Kai Blight for uh, being on the show this week. Great for, interview. Absolutely. And thanks, uh, Des, for being our Australian interpreter. Interpreter, yeah. interpreter. He helped us out a couple yeah. times. He did, yeah. Skid. Which way I, did you uh, come in? I learned oh, sk- I Skid <laughs> and uh, what was the other one? Mm, sleep. The sleep one. Kip. 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 And Fortnite. I mean, I, I should know what Fortnite is because yeah. that's not really. But what is Fortnite? Two weeks. Two weeks. Is it two yeah. weeks? Okay. Yeah. See you in a fortnight. In a couple weeks. Uh-huh. Yeah. We're very educational tonight. <laughs> Thanks, Des. Uh, next week, we'll be back at 7 o'clock Thursday night. Until then, get out and support your local track. We'll might see you at one of them. We're out. See you next week, folks. Good night. You have been listening to the Hammer Down Racing Report, available on demand on iTunes, Google Podcasts, Spotify, or your favorite podcasting platform.